What's going on YouTube? MelfiSex here and welcome to the On Blast Gaming Comic Hall number 20. And this is covering all of the comic book issues that came out the week of January 8th, 2020. And we started this uh, year off with a bang. Um, the last episode we went off some cool um, New Year comics that released. Um, I think we also had the, uh, the week of uh, Christmas... Um, with that, but now we're back into the swing of things um, Those weeks were kind of light just because of the holiday week so they were kind of light But um, we got a full-fledged haul with 23 books on hand um, First hopefully you guys had a ha happy new year had a um, happy holidays and now we are back to new year um, and starting up again um, this is Again, all the books that were released on the week of January 8th. Um, as you can see by just a few books I got up there, we got a nice little mix of um, DC, Marvel, and a whole bunch of uh, indies. So, uh, you know, you got some Batman there, some Catwoman, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. A cool, um, incredible Hulk um, Aspen collaboration. Uh, right there, and you got some Red Sonia Vampirella and some TMNT with a little Thor. So let's get into it. Um, before that, let's um, obviously we don't try to curse as much on this video. Um, it's not like my gaming streams or gaming videos where sometimes we fully go on and rage, um, but we do sometimes use explicit language. So because of that. This is a parental advisory for any kids or any young adults um, or any teenagers under the age of 16. Um, like I said, warn in the following video it contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers and is inappropriate for children. It is definitely inappropriate if you are a minor. Um, Content within this video is intended for mature audiences only and of course We got to give a shout out to my LCS my local comic shop best comics international um, If you guys are in the Queens Long Island area or anywhere in New York in the tri-state definitely give them a visit really good deals great guys always hooking me up and um Always coming through with the, the, the great books that uh, I definitely show on stream. So uh, if you are around the area, definitely give them um, definitely, def definitely give them a hookup and a look um, and go buy some good books. So with all that being said, let's get into our comic book haul sh showcase. Let's showcase some of these pickups. Um, so we're going to do some different um, this video. We usually started off with the big two either marvel or dc we're actually going to go right into the indies and we're going to start off with dynamite red sonia number 12 beautiful cover right there let's get some car. this is the koi fam um cover c variant um beautiful beautiful look um a little you know it's different than what i usually pick up for red sonia um, being like the uh, Lucio Perillos, this is more of a cartoonish vibe on it, um, and I like it. It's very simple, um, not too busy on the cover. A lot of blue, the blue sky, you kind of see it there. And um, when I saw it, it was something different um, than I that I'm used to picking up with Red Sonia, so I liked it. I actually did like it, some variety. Uh, and it looked really nice. Looked really nice. Um, next up, for the same purposes that I bought that Red Sonia, I bought this Vengeance of Vampirella. Um, this is the cover C variant. This is the uh, the Buzz. Very very voluptuous. Very seductive. And again, um, splitting. Along the everyday Lucio Perillo and the realistic violent. This is more of a let me get a focus in there. Okay. So this is more of a uh, 
a little more animated version of a uh, vampirella love the color um the color does pop The contrast of that blue and red and black hair, it's actually really nice. So, uh, I actually have this nominated as one of the top covers of the week. So, I'm going to put that aside there. Definitely a top cover nominee. I definitely like, you know, sometimes you got to split it, you know. Can't be as realistic every time. Although, I love the Lucio Perillo, Vampirella, and Red Sonia covers. Sometimes when you see that little bit of variety, you kind of jump on it. Um... Next up, we got some TMNT Power Rangers. Um, this is number two. And this is the regular Dan Mora cover. Very nice book. Have been enjoying this series a lot. Really taking me back to my childhood. And this is from Boom Studios. If you guys like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or TMNT, or if you like the both just like me, Definitely pick this up, man. This has been absolutely uh, awesome. And you just got them, you know, pretty much just doing battle. Really cool book. Alright, so next up, we actually bought three of these. This is the um, TMNT Power Rangers uh, variant. This is the uh, Goni Montez cover B. And this is um, Leonardo holding the uh, Yellow Ranger helmet. I love these, uh, these Holden helmet variants. And I usually try to pick up the Leonardo. Or if I get a chance, I'll get the Leonardo and the... Um, Raphael, just because those are my two favorite turtles. So, we got the Leo, and we did get the Raphael. The Raphael is actually the cover C. That's that right there. And you can tell by the headbands, um, Raphael got the two, uh, Leo had that one. So that would be the um, TMNT Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number two, cover C. Alright, so next up, we got some TMNT, and this is issue 101. After the whole 100 shebang, um, we're back, and we're back to a good jumping on point for anybody that wants to get back into the Ninja Turtles. Perfect point. This is the cover A, um, the regular Sophie Campbell cover, and it's just a just a very traditional um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just pose. And you got Raphael kind of assuming the leader role in the middle there. You got Leo, you got Jenna, Michelangelo, and Donatello. Nice black cover too. Like it. Top cover nominee right there. So that is it for all the um, indies. Now we're going to go and move on to our DC. And to start it off, we got some Supergirl. And this is the Derek Chu cardstock um, variant. Derek Chu does some really nice work on these... Um, on these super gold covers right here. He's actually been doing a few of them and they've all been really nice. Very nice kind of digital realism 
Um, and of course, you got Supergirl there just uh, carrying a burglar. Got those $100 bills just blowing in the wind. This is Supergirl 38. This is the cover B card stock, Derek Chu. And I might have to say this is a top cover nominee. Very nice work. Next up, next up we do have some Batman 86. This is the Tony Daniel regular cover A. And I'm actually liking this a lot. And this is a good jumping on point. Because uh, James Tinney in the fourth is actually taking over. So new bad stories. And I think for the first time in a while, I'm actually liking the cover A more than the cover B. Um, I usually pick up both. I do like to pick up both. Um, I love the Francesco Matina B covers. But this Tony Daniel A cover... is really cool very sleek and i'm actually liking it a lot so that's going to be a top cover nominee sometimes the batman cover a's are just so busy with so many things going on that it kind of takes away from the cover but that one was just a very like symbolic iconic um batman cover So, let me pull up the, this is Batman 86, and this is the cover B I was talking about. This is the um, Francesco Matina. Not a bad cover at all. Don't get me wrong, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, you got Deathstroke, um, pretty much kind of like blading the Batmobile open like a can opener, right? He's just got his two swords deep and um it's a beautiful cover but um you know sometimes when a when a cover is beautifully like pencilly drawn you know what i mean kind of like just old school sometimes i do prefer that over the um the digital Although I do love the digital, you know, Francesco Mattina. Um, and there's a lot. Our germ does some digital stuff. Um, Derek Chu does some digital stuff. But um, I don't know. That cover A for uh, for Batman 86 is definitely nice. But this is this is not... Look, it's Francesco Mattina. You can never go wrong with the beautiful Francesco Mattina. Um... But I have to go with the uh, the regular cover A for this week's Batman. Next up, we got some beautiful Catwoman 19. This is the uh, cover B variant. This is the uh, Ian McDonald cardstock. And you know what? I mean, Archer really did some beautiful work with the Catwoman variants, but um. This is not that bad. I actually like it. It's a different take. It's a different look. And it's still really nice. It still captures Catwoman. You got that nice little purple shade. And I still like it. Catwoman 19. And that is the Ian McDonald uh, cover B variant. Top cover nominee. I like it. I like it. Why not? Put that in there. Alright, so next up for DC, we got some Genlock 3. This is the regular cover A. And 
And that would be it for our DC books. And now on to Marvel. This is New Mutants number 5. And this is the Dark Phoenix uh, variant. This is the cover B. This is the Dark Phoenix Saga 40th Anniversary cover. And this is actually the, um, the 7 of 12. In a sub-basement of the Hellfire Club, Wolverine kills guards employed by the club's inner circle. Um, this is the uh, 7 of 12 variant of the whole Dark Phoenix kind of saga. That they got going on um, throughout the all of the X books, and it's really nice. It just it's by Juan Jose Rip. Nice little New Mutants cover. Um, kind of just see Wolverine doing his thing. So that is New Mutants number 5, and that's the cover B, Juan Jose Rip, Dark Phoenix 40th Anniversary. I like it. I like that Wolverine. He looked really cool. Just ripping dudes up. Now this is an absolute banger. Um, unfortunately, my comic shop didn't have this um last week but they did get it for me this week and this is the thor number one this is the cover d art germ um variant and i like it man i like it a lot i know art germ usually specializes with the f women and some people were making fun of uh you know kind of feminizing thor but uh i think thor you know i mean you know you want to say he looks like fabio you know but um, I'm loving it. I'm loving the colors. It's got a very Greek god approach. And um, I'm definitely liking this book. I, love, I like this cover. And when I saw it, I was like, I definitely have to have it. And we got a few Thor 1 um, covers last week. We got the Arthur Adams. We got the Ron Lim. And we got the regular Oliver Koipel, I believe. Or is that still on back order? No, that's still on back order. Um, I should be getting it within the next week or two. But uh, we definitely had to get that Art Germ. And that is definitely a top cover nominee. Art Germ Thor, why not? I could argue that. Alright, next up. We got the Excalibur number 5. And this is another Dark Phoenix 40th anniversary saga. Um... This is the 8 of 12. This is the Dark Phoenix Saga variant 8 of 12, which stretches along all the X books um, for these next weeks. None other than Dark Phoenix herself. And the uh, description for this one Dark Phoenix brings an end to the peace loving Dabari civilization by consuming the star their planet orbits. So. Pretty much destroyed their son, and there it is. And this is a Philip Tan. This is the um, Excalibur number five cover C variant. This is the Philip Tan um, variant, and Philip Tan did some amazing work on this. Um, I haven't seen Philip Tan do that much Marvel work. He's really done a lot of DC work, especially his Red Hood um, variants. But um, some really nice stuff. And um, can't go wrong with a little Philip 10. Alright, next up. We got some Venom. Number 22. 
And this is the um, cover B, John Tyler Christopher Marvel's Marvel's X um, variant. Really, very nice, sleek, simple, um, a beautiful black cover, and it's in pristine condition, especially for a nice black, all black cover like this. Gotta love how that thing looks. And I saw, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, this is a, uh, gotta cop that. So, uh, beautiful cover, another top cover nominee. Gotta go with that one. Now this is an absolute just this is an absolute beauty. Um a little pricey, but just absolutely beautiful. And this cover actually came in a pair of two. This is the Immortal Hulk number 20. This is the uh, cover F Aspen Comics exclusive with Dale Keown. This is the uh, B version of it. And you got Green Hulk. Now the A version um, has Red Hulk in like a Vegas backdrop. No, actually, is it Red Hulk or Grey Hulk? No, it's Red Hulk. It's Red Hulk in a Vegas backdrop. And it just looks beautiful. But I had to go with the original. Um, with this beautiful green Hulk right here. And I mean the color just pops. It's it's an absolute beauty. Beautiful condition. Definitely a top cover nominee, without a doubt. Just the uh, the detail on Hulk's veins is fucking crazy. I mean, just his... Look at that man's... Look at the detail on that thing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know how much we love Symbiote Spider-Man. And this is a really cool cover. This is Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality number 2. And um, this is the cover B Mark Bagley cover. Just looks absolutely beautiful. When a legend like Mark Bagley does a Spider-Man cover, you kind of have to uh, take notice. And it's just really nice, man. Love the color, the shading. This is the cover B Mark Bagley variant. Spider-Man Alien Reality number two. And we actually did pick up the um, cover A along with it. But this right here is definitely a top cover nominee. The cover A is actually of the same book. Spider-Man, Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality number two. And this is the cover A regular cover by Greg Land. Um, had Hobgoblin on the cover, so we definitely had to get it. And um, you kind of have Symbiote Spider-Man in the back. And just Hobgoblin throwing his uh, his pumpkins on, on the glider. And it just looked very cool. But if we got to pick one of these two books... I got to go with that Mark Bagley variant. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If uh, if you would make the same decision there. All 
All right, so next up we got Ruins of Ravencraft, and this is the uh, Carnage storyline. There's a one shot, um, ver well, one shot. Um, there's no variants or anything. They just came in the cover A, um, and apparently this is gonna tell the story of the Ravencroft Asylum or how it was built or some backstory behind it. And this is obviously a you know a backstory, especially with all the absolute carnage stuff that just finished up. We love that carnage, so um, we definitely got it. This is the uh, this cover is done by Gerardo Sandoval. Cool. Next up, we got Morbius, the Living Vampire, number three, and this is the cover A, regular cover by Scan. Um, not bad, not bad. Morbius is looking eviler and darker than ever. Kind of got your traditional vampire slash Dracula pose with the blood moon in the back. Very nice. Nice for the PC. I definitely like me some vampires and Morbius. Uh, why not? Why not? Coming near in that end, near in the end of the hall right now, and this is Punisher Soviet number three. This is the uh, cover A regular Paolo Rivera cover. Um, this came out last week, but my shop didn't have it on stock, so uh, I had it ordered, and it came in this week. Um, Garthas Punisher classic. Um, and I, I do like the cover. Very nice looking cover, so pick that one up. And our final book for the evening. This is Star Wars The Rise of Kylo Ren. Number two. This is the cover A regular cover by Clayton Crane. Honestly, I was a little disappointed um, by the cover. It's okay. Um, you got... You got a Ben Solo and Luke Skywalker um, battling the Knights of Ren, what it seems like, on the cover. I was expecting a little more of an epic cover, but great issue nonetheless. Um, absolutely love the actual comic book. Um, I wish they could have incorporated a lot of this backstory into the movie. Because it would have made the movie that much better. That trilogy. But um, really good read. If you haven't read it and you like Star Wars. And you're a little bit disappointed by the whole. Rise of Skywalker. Um, Last Jedi. Force Awakens trilogy. Um, this one right here. It does some justice to the character of Kylo Ren. Because. I mean, I didn't mind the trilogy that much. I loved Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker. I didn't like Last Jedi that much. So I was like first and third. The second kind of fell flat for me. But I love the character of Kylo Ren. And this book really does him some justice. Because I don't think the trilogy did him any justice. He could have been a much better character than was... Then it was portrayed, especially the fact that um, episode two of that trilogy really killed it. Or I guess movie um, episode seven, it would be. All right, so let's run through all the, uh, all the picks. Let me start getting them ready here. So we picked up. Top, never, top cover nominee, 
Symbiote Spider-Man Alien Reality number two. And this is the cover B Mark Bagley. Just going to run through all the picks. And then we're going to head right into our top three covers of the week. Beautiful Immortal Hulk number 20 cover F. Um, Aspen comic exclusive, right? This is by Dale Keown. That's a beautiful cover. Next up, we got some Venom 22. That's the uh, cover B variant by John Tyler Christopher. And this is the Marvel's X cover edition. Next up, we got some Thor number one. This is the cover D variant by Stanley Archerm Lau. New Mutants number five. This is the uh, cover B Dark Phoenix Saga 40th Anniversary uh, cover by Juan Jose Rip. Nice Wolverine cover right there. That's it for our Marvel. Now we're going to head into our DC, which is Catwoman 19. This is the cover B variant by Ian McDonald. And it's a cardstock. Batman 86. That's a Tony Daniel. Cover A. Got some Supergirl 38. Cover B cardstock by Derek Chu. Moving quite along right now. Got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 101, cover A. And that's the regular Sophie Campbell cover. And to conclude our top picks for comic the comic the on blast comic book haul video number 20, covering issues from the week of January 8th. Our final top cover nominee is Vengeance of Vampirella number four. And this is the cover C buzz variant. Okay, so we got all our top cover nominees. But out of all these, we could only pick three. So let's go ahead and work our magic. Hold on one second. Let me just get <clears throat> get it ready. All right. Here it is. The On Blast Comic Hall number 20. Final three covers. Let's go. Number three. We got Batman 86, and that, this is the cover A Tony Daniel cover. Nice pickup right there. For our number two cover of the week, we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 101. This is the cover A Sophie Campbell cover. And for the number one cover of the week, for the week of January 8th, 2020. None other than the Immortal Hulk number 20 cover F Aspen Comics collaboration exclusive by Dale Keown. These are your top three covers picked by me. Um, so that doesn't really mean anything. Just my opinion. 
Um, if you guys have a different set of covers for this week of January 8th, let me know down in the comments below. Um, who knows, maybe I missed some books. Maybe I missed some covers that were really nice looking. And I'll take a look and, you know, I'll buy them. <laughs> But these are the books that I purchased and the books that I feel are the top cover picks of this haul that I have here. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Um, had some really nice pickups. Um, 23 books, not that bad. That's um, it's a pretty high week. Um, unfortunately, that's kind of our regular. Not that that's a good thing, but... Um, well, it's good for my comic shop and, and the comic book uh, business, but hurts the pockets, if you know what I mean. But um, we did have some really beautiful um, books. Hopefully you guys enjoy the, uh, the haul video. Um, if you guys have some favorite covers or books or any comments, down, just leave them down below. I love your comments. Um, if you enjoy the video, definitely give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and... That's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have for this week. Um, I will catch you guys next week. And that is going to cover um, the week of January 15th. That's going to be our comic book haul video number 21. And I don't know off the top of my head what books are coming out next week. But I'm sure we got Pure Fire. And we will definitely have our next video right here on the, uh, the home of On Blast Gaming on YouTube. Which is youtube.com slash x one and that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for tuning in um keep on reading keep on gaming and i will catch you guys on the next video peace